I'm going to show you how to use a digital food scale to measure your food. When it comes to tracking macros, you for sure want to be measuring your food by weight rather than by volume. So by volume, I mean using measuring cups, teaspoons, and so on, um, because when we use volume, we tend to be very inaccurate, oftentimes without realizing with our measurements. So this can lead you to consuming several hundreds more calories per day than you actually realize, okay? So I'm going to use two very common diet food items. The first is oats, dry oats, okay? First thing you want to do, take your digital food scale, put your bowl or plate on the scale. When you turn it on, it'll tear to zero, okay? So I'll show you first. One serving of oats is half cup or 40 grams, okay? So you have the half cup, which is a volume measurement, 40 grams, which is the weight measurement. If you were to use a half cup, here's what most people think of a half cup, right? We're gonna level off. This looks like a very fair half cup, okay? If you weigh it out, it actually comes out to well over 40 grams. So this is almost one and a half times more than the actual true serving. So you're actually consuming around 200 calories, not just 150 with this alone. Now, this itself may not seem too harmful, but imagine doing this 18 times a day, 20 times a day with all your different food items that you're measuring. You can see how these inaccuracies can add up. So I'll show you instead, uh, I'll do it this way this time to show you what a true 40 gram serving looks like relative to the half cup measuring uh, serving right here. Okay, so I tear it to zero. Now that I'm pulling the food out of the bin, instead of adding 40 grams, I'm gonna pull out minus 40 grams. So it's gonna read minus 40, and that's how I know I have the one serving, okay? Or how, so here we go. Um, so this is 44.5. Take a little bit more. 41. 41. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, so this is 40 grams. So you see here, do you see how it doesn't even go up to the fill line? It's actually less than a full half cup. So this is one true serving size. This is 150 calories. All right, so this is why you want to use a digital food scale. Now let's use peanut butter. For peanut butter, Rather than putting the peanut butter in a separate container, this one, you can leave the peanut butter jar on the food scale, tear it to zero, and that way we can do the same thing where we subtract 16 grams, which is one tablespoon, okay? One tablespoon is supposed to be 90 calories, 16 grams. Here's what most people think of one tablespoon. Pretty good, right? That's 41 grams. That's well over twice as much as a true serving size. So you're actually getting over 200 calories in this alone when you think you're getting 90, okay? So look at this, compared to 16 grams, we're gonna tear it again, back to zero. So we're gonna pull out 16. So from here, I would take out, so even that's too much, so 17. 15, 16. That's one true tablespoon. So look at the difference. Oh, I lost some here. Look at the difference between what you think is one tablespoon versus what one true tablespoon looks like. And this is a difference of over 100 calories that you're consuming extra without realizing it if you're not careful, all right? So here's how you use a digital food scale. If you're tracking your macros, this is the method you wanna use.